hello fellow gamers, welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we got the blimp ticket, which we are going to use to get to Glitzville. This blimp goes to Glitzville. Will you be joining us on your flight? Uh, joining us on our flight today? Heck yeah, I will. Ah, oh, please allow me to check your boarding pass. Here's my blimp ticket. Then please watch your step as you step aboard. I just want to go into the pipe. Now you're in the background, and... Oh, and all you want to do is stand here, hit the A button, and here we go. Here we go. We're going to do it. Oh, my God. We're going to do it. We're going. Whoa, it didn't look like that in the distance. Anyway. We're the only ones on this blimp, by the way. Like, there isn't even a driver. Like, don't worry about it. Chapter 3 of Glitz and Glam. Glitz and Glory, sorry, I don't know why I was thinking of Glamour. I ruined the opening already. This is going to be a fun chapter, isn't it? Uh, we're flying slowly towards a floating planet in the sky. Almost there. The blimp is bigger than the city, but okay. I like the music here. Do 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 Glitzville, here we are. Um, yeah, this would be Glitzville, all right. How do they make it float? I mean, it hasn't, it hasn't ever, you know, plunged from the sky or anything, has it? Coops is getting like scared or something. Time to hunt down that crystal star, huh, Mario? I know I'm ready. So, so far, there's nothing we can really do in Glitzville. In fact, one of the really annoying things, you're gonna come here and you're gonna be like, eh, oh, come on. Oh, you can't get that. You actually can't get that for a while. It's kind of mean they put it there. I know there's something right here. Yeah, this is hard. Uh, not a hard piece. It's a star piece. Did it again. Anyway, so we're gonna wanna come in here and. Hey, look! Well, hello, Mr. Mustache. We meet again. That's all she says. It's very boring. Um, all the only thing you can do right now is come this way, actually. Wow, this place is so cool. Hey, Mario, look up there. There's a battle match going on right now. That's right. Uh! I think it's about time for you to feel the rock! <laughs> Oof! Stay down, pin cushion! You don't want more of this! Why'd you even show up? Yeah, you hear me talking, wimpy! Stay out of the ring, or feel the burn, baby! Tell you what, do a million push ups, and then come see my Uncle Rock Hawk! I'll give you another world-class spanking and send you crying home to mama again! Hooey, champ. That was a great A whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me? No, no one can! Hear me? Ain't a fighter out there that can even make me sweat? They're all a bunch of little crybabies, running around in stinky diapers. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me! Bring it! I'll take on anyone! You weaklings might as well stick back to video game fighting, okay? Cause I'll hurt you! 
Yeah, number one, baby. Rockhawk is the champ. Har 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 har. Um, you see that, Mario? The thing on the shiny belt. Is that a crystal star? Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be. That sparkles a crystal star. Um, that doesn't make much sense at all. Why would it be on that guy's belt? Boy, I don't know, Mario. It's not like we can just steal that guy's belt. Or can we? What should we do? Battle our way to the top. That's the ticket, Mario. Do this thing right. All you have to do is become champ and you'll get that belt fair and square. So I guess we better get started. There must be a novice sign up somewhere. My tummy is getting upset. Let's find the guy in charge before I lose my nerve. What you're going to do is you're going to come over here, I believe. And talk to this person. What's that, bub? You want to become a fighter? Hmm. Well, if you're serious, you better go meet with Mr. Grubber, the promoter. Mr. Grubber's office is just down the hallway. You can't miss it. Head on through. Head on through to the other side. Head on through to the other side. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Anyway, I don't know what I'm thinking right now. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to want to come all the way to... Oh, wait. No, it's the right room. I'm sorry. Was that? You want to be a fighter, bub? Oh, all right. Go on in. Mr. Grubber's just inside. Who in tarnation are you, son? And who let you in? This is Grubba's office. Yep, that's me, Grubba, and you're one rude dude coming in without knocking. What now? An athlete, huh? You wanna be a fighter? Oh yeah. Well do a change that dude change thing or two, son. I always got time for an up and coming. Yep, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters, all primed and a raring to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Now, lay me straight, son. You wanna live the glamorous life of a champ, don't you? Darn Skippy. Alright, alright, son. I hear where you're coming from, son. Loud and clear. When I was just a poor pup, I didn't give a pokies for two for fancy big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches. And know what I realized being rich and famous is day to day and dynamite. Now I can mix it up in the ring. I can't mix it up in the ring no more. But I earned enough to set me for life. You re you're reading me here, son. Dreams do come true, even if you even if they ain't yours exactly. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you'll make back. You can look back at all those small dreams, small dreamers, and laugh. You read me here, son? That's the spirit chief. Here's let us take a little walk and talk. Come on now. Now you like this pod? Just feast your eyes. Go on. This is the champion's room. Isn't it a sight? Deluxe. You become champ, son, and you get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course. That's on top of the big money and screaming fame. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself a lot. And a life of wealth and comfort awaits. Now we're here. We have the major league locker room. A lot of contenders here. What you think, son, huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, don't it? Now, I'm sure you know this is all... I'm sure you know this already, son. That ain't but one world champion. Calling your way to the top and taking the belt to become champ ain't an easy thing. But that's the point, son. Wouldn't it be worth it if there weren't no challenge? I can see you got the fire for it too, Pod. You got the eye of the tiger there. You're gonna be champ. I can just feel it. I ain't never been so sure about a fighter. Oh, hey, one other thing. You gotta sign an itty bitty contract to be a fighter. It ain't no thing. Just take a second or two of your time and just jot your name here, okay? Sign me up. 
You signed the contract by being on the other side of the room, word. Best thing you ever done, son. Now nah, you're Mario. Ain't a bad hand. Now nah, you're Mario. Ain't a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, Pot, it lacks a little punch as a five's name. Get me? Let me see here. Bam! Hoo! Yeah, I got it. From now on, you're gonna be the great Gonzalez. Who? Ah, ain't that a beaut? Dang! If that ain't a stroke of genius, a name that good, a name that good comes around once in a lifetime. Yep. Everyone should not should bow before the great Gonzalez. Make me proud, son. Well, now that we got the business side out of the way, Jolene, would you come in a minute, darling? Yes, sir. You wish to see me? Sure did, hon. Jolene, this is the great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be a peach and take him down to the minor league locker room, alrighty? Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you'd be so kind, please follow me. As you know, you are a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubba says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, as for your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubba releases you. There are many other small guidelines I will explain as they become relevant. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like the dingy room, I suggest you work your way through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, just log on to this computer terminal here. Your Mr. Greville will then decide who you'll match me up against. You'll have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up and log on with A, blah, blah, hit reserve a match. It looks like a Game Boy Advance on the computer. Welcome to the auto reserve match. Well, howdy, Gonzalez. Ready to get your fist dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle is going to be against the Goomba Bros. Don't worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get everyone fired up, though. So appeal the crowd at least once. Yeah, any questions about detailed rules, just ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay? Well, good luck, Pod. Okay, your battle is reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops the opponent's HP to zero first wins. If you beat an opponent who ranks above you, your ranking will go up. Then again, if you lose to a lower ranking opponent, your rank will go down. Simply, winning is not enough. When Mr. Ripper sets fight conditions, follow them. In this case, your condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher rank opponent next. If you can get your rank up to 11th, you'll get a shot at the mi Major League. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand all that? Yep. Okay, good. For now, just wait until security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzalez. Um, I think that's about all we have time for this episode. Oh my god, security's here. Next time, uh, okay, I know they're going to escort me. Next time, Paper Mario the Thousand New Door, we are going to be entering our first fight in the Glitz Pit. I will see you guys next time. Sorry for the boring episode. The Coop got stuck. Anyway, see you guys next time.